friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan and I have Anthony here today. Um, and we are going to do a new video. I'm not sure if it's a challenge out there or not, but I've seen a few people do it and it's, he's going to try to guess what the story is about based on the cover of the book. Woo. Um, I'm gonna do 10 books. We're gonna do all books I've read so that I know what the plot is and can tell him if he's right or wrong. But I am excited to see some of his thoughts on what these books are. And book number one is Girls of Paper and Fire. So hmm. I'll let you take a gander at the cover here. Do you want to um, talk about what you're seeing and tell me what you think the story is about? So we have one of the girls. Um, she has some colorful hair. Okay. Uh, it might be on fire. I don't know. Uh, so there's paper involved. So 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 this girl got set on fire. Okay. Um, from paper because you have to use paper to make a fire, and now her eyes are orange. So now she's gonna go on a journey to find out why she was burned and and um, reincarnated as an orange-eyed hair on fire kind of girl with paper involved my somewhat in the ballpark yeah you actually got the plot exactly no i thought so <laughs> so in the story we are following lay or lee i don't know how to pronounce it but she is in the paper cast which is a human cast in this world demons are the top of the hierarchy so the king is a demon and then there's like half demon half humans and then there's humans so Lei is a human and every year the demon king takes in like eight concubines or eight prostitutes essentially hmm. and um eight this year he decides to take a knife in Lee because of her golden eyes oh. uh, because golden eyes are kind of a sign of demonhood i hmm. guess you could say so it's about her story and being one of the demon king's concubines so hmm. yeah that's interesting <laughs> uh, my story was better oh okay <laughs> this was actually one of my favorite reads of this year oh yeah this one is called shadow of the sky it's by rebecca kim wells um and you actually get two book covers to kind of work off of oh because oh. it's a reversible dust jacket so we got a dragon. Mm -hmm. What's it called again? Shatter the sky. The one side, and here's the other side. All right. So we got um, um, a girl learning how to train her dragon with another dragon. Mm -hmm. So if I know anything about that movie, which I don't, um, so we got a young girl who is in, um, she's in a type of outfit, uh, with a sword and then dragons. Okay. So I'm going to assume that she, she was a part of some family that like banished her because she had, um, some like weird thing with collecting dragon toys or something like that and they were like you're never going to be able to train a dragon you bum get out of here you we banish you from this family so so now she's a loner uh going on a quest to find you know the dragon that they thought was all fake or something like that so she's got this magical sword which is probably like her macguffin or something like that that like allows her access to find this dragon and then so she eventually goes through some obstacles and, and gets the dragon. And then now she's going to fight like e evil like uh, demon uh, monsters with her dragon. And then they're going to burn down Russia. <laughs> Russia specifically. Yes. Got it. So this is actually the story of Marin. Um, she is from a clan at the top of the mountain that used to be the dragon clan or the people that took care of the dragons inside the mountain however all the dragons got taken or stolen by the empire um and now the empire and then these like oracle people that can see into the future kind of run things um and one day the oracles come and steal or um take Marin's girlfriend away so Marin uh 
goes into the Empire to steal a dragon so that she can save her girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I missed a few details. Uh, just the names, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything else was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, accurate. Book number three is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, <laughs> this book is amazing in quotes by HelloGiggles.com. And there's bonus content inside. Woohoo, it's getting scandalous. Uh, New York Times bestseller. Uh, well, so she's writing. She's got is that is that a globe? What disco is that? Disco ball. Oh, that's a disco ball. Oh, okay, can't have any flat earths on here. Uh, pictures of things on her wall. We have a, a reef, a Christmas reef. Can you say that word again? Reef. How do you spell that? Um, <laughs> R E F F. Uh, am I allowed to read the back or no? I gotta like not read no, those words. No, that's the summary. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just looking at the pictures then. Like baby pictures, something there, more Christmas lights in her bed. So I imagine this being like an autobiography, but okay. but not an autobiography of Taylor Swift's entire life and about all of her bad ex-boyfriends. All right. Yeah. So this tells the story of Lara Jean, who, whenever she fell in love with a boy, she would write him a secret letter to get out her feelings so she could get over him. And she stores all the letters in a hat box. And one day her little sister gets mad at her and mails all the letters to those boys. And no. it's all the repercussions of that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of writing letters, she just wrote songs for, you know, albums. Okay, book number four, if you don't know, is going to be really fun. So, it's Six of Crows. Did so, I get that for you? I don't think you got this one. I no. think you got Crooked Kingdom. Oh, okay. But, Six of Crows. Um, this started my book two. You know it's my favorite. Let's see what you think it's about. Welp. So, this book is about a couple who gets um, robbed in their apartment and beat up. The girl ends up dying and the guy gets pushed off the balcony and then he dies. But then a crow resurrects him from the dead and now he's out on a vengeance quest to go kill all the people that killed him and his um, soon-to-be wife. They were, they, she was his oh, fiance. Got it. Yeah. Um, I think on Halloween um, meets a side character and, and she doesn't really do anything much. Um, she helps out maybe a smidge and then yeah so he goes on this quest to kill all of these like uh really terrible people uh sets one of them on fire uh kills another one in a, in a car like by strapping him to it and like it drowns i don't even and know if they have cars he has in this a world. really really epic battle with the mob boss um at the end of the uh book um, you know that part does actually happen yeah, so then he kills him, and then um, he ends up going back to, like, being able to rest in his grave. Okay. Uh, since he, you know, avenged um, them, his them dying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, this tells the story of... I would just want to say that that was the summary of the movie The Crow. <laughs> Got it. Yep. So I thought the book was loosely based on it. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, so... This tells the story of Kaz Brecker, who is the head or like kind of um, subhead of a gang. And he is offered a deal to go on this quest to take the person who created a drug and bring them to the person who offered the deal so that they can keep this drug from going on the market. So he recruits five other people to help him in this heist and he believes that this heist will save the world however it's not set in like our world or our time period so there's magic and there's creatures and there's lots of cool things going Are there on. Weird eight eye tentacle looking. No, it's not saga. Oh. Saga so, I was telling him hmm. about the saga graphic novel and they are 
something else. And yeah, so it's really, really good. The care, it's, there's not a lot of plot. It's very character driven. Um, so it's, but it's really, really good. All right, book number five is The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. Um, this one wants to be like a fox and that one wants to be a, a reindeer and that's a that's what is that he looks like a serpent antelope or something <laughs> um and then we have little dragon monsters what's it called again the dragons the, the tea, tea dragon, dragon society. society uh what was that show on um the disney channel disney kids dragon tales yeah so we have reindeer and fox going and giving tea to these dragons. Okay. So they can tame them to be, uh, like, pets, like Pokemon. Okay. Yep. Uh, but they're not going to use them for battle. They're just going to be their friends, and then everyone in this book lives happily ever after. Okay. So, I mean, that one was probably the closest yet. So in this world, these people raise the little dragons... Hmm. And they don't use them for battles. They use them as a way to uh, encapsulate their memories. And then... Whoa, I feel like that's worse. <laughs> no. So, if you can see, this little dragon's growing plants out of its head. So, um, and the dragons are, like, well taken care of and groomed and loved and all that stuff. There are little flowers grow. And then they use the leaves to create different teas that let you view your memories. Do the dragons lose their memories in the process? No. Oh, okay. It's They're like almost little mini recorders, so they like take in, they're watching what happens to you, and then they let you view from their eyes. Interesting. Yeah. Number six is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Um, that's and a, it's the UK cover, which is gonna make it extremely hard. Is that a phoenix bird? No. What is what what is that? Uh, I think a crow. Are these bats or birds? I think it was just darkness. No, those look like birds. Yeah. All right, so there's a lot of birds in this book, uh, with the night sky, and we got another crow, bald eagle bird, with okay. a cat. Uh, a hand. Uh, we have that potion from the uh, the Emperor's New Groove that Isma. Cusco's. Yep. The potion. The poison. Potion, yep. So poison. we got the poison. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Uh, we got a cross. A mask. Okay. Got a lot to hmm. work with here. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So there's two characters involved. Okay. One's name is not Cusco. Okay. The other's name is not Kronk. Okay. Or, or no, 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 po uh, pon Poncho. 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 So there's a group of good guys and a group of bad guys. Okay. Okay? Um, one's got, the bad guy's got the potion, so the good guys are trying to stop them with that sword. One of the bad guys is... Um, like a uh, like a Satanist or like a werewolf demon type of character. Okay. So that's why they have the cross, so they can like hold up the cross. You know what I mean? And then like, like an exorcism. Yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. And okay. like and like throw holy water onto it. Okay. Um, and Christ will compel you, and then that villain ends up dying. So the good guys win that battle. That's one okay. of the sub battles. Oh, okay. Um, Got it. There's a female involved who has the mask. Um, because they go to, like, one of those fancy ball parties or something like that. And then the bad guys kidnap her, so the good guys have to go get her back. But she ends up getting turned into a crow, and that's why they have the potion. So they have to get the girl from turning into a crow back into a female. Uh, but instead, they turn her into a cat. I don't know why there's a, a barrel with a hand sticking out of it, <laughs> but it's got some importance to it. Uh, maybe it started the whole thing um, somewhere in that ballpark. And something about the night sky. And, and never nights. There's there's some nights in there that never give up. All right. So this tells the story of Mia Corver, whose family was killed when she was younger. So she goes to a school for assassins to train to get revenge. Cool. All right. You nailed it. Yeah. 
Another one that Anthony should definitely know is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Papretto. As you can see, I really like this book. I know I've talked to you about the plot of this one. The world takes place in the Golden Empire. So okay. we are in like 5,000 to 0 BC, somewhere in that ballpark of like okay. Emperor, like Japan, right? It's not our world. Well, that's the world it's going to be in. Okay. Um, cause uh, most the... fantasy is set in a completely different world than our Earth. Okay. Well, that's the only, that's what I can think of, because, like, these are some, like, Red Robin-looking creatures. Um, Red Robin! Yum! And, like, they got, the... like, Samurai Battle Art, and, and this one looks like she's straight out of, um, Raid Shadow Legends, starting out for free. Uh... <laughs> what? Starting out for free. Not sponsored. <laughs> Um, no, I just hear the ads so many times on YouTube and just gets pounded into your memory. It's really bad. Uh, that's doing what it's supposed to. I've never downloaded that game. No, though. you can't read those. Oh, I didn't know if there was artwork on the back of no, these. Like, that's just words. purple. I'm not reading it. I can't read that fast. Don't give me that much credit. Um, all right. So we got some archers who are doing their own thing. Like, the, okay. they're, they're on their own little adventure. And they're trying to go from the south to the north and along the way they meet their friends um tell me their names Sokka and Ara okay the um the the phoenix because they know it's gonna fix the bad guys who are up here at the ruins of our or aura yeah uh at Piermont West Virginia. Um, so along their journey, they end up meeting the, um, the archers. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Robin Hood and. Um, Do you want like Robin Hood's actual girl? No, 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 or no. So Katniss. there's um, one's gonna be Robin Hood and the other one's Batman sidekick, Robin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. But that, that new Teen Titans one, not the not the cool OG one. So like Robin and Robin Squared. Sure. Okay. Yeah, Rob, Robin 2. Robin 2. Got it. Yep. Uh, so, because they're on their own little thing, and, and then they meet up with this group of people. So all together, they're like, yeah, we need to get the, the feathers and a crown. We need two, we need two MacGuffins in so order. So they're going like on Dory, the Explorer quest here. Yep. Okay. Do, 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 the Explorer, and, um, I actually know they the need entire the Dora the Explorer theme song. I don't doubt that. Veggie Tales lover. And they need the feathers with the crown that they need to steal from the kingdom to resurrect the phoenix who's going to burn everything down to the ground. All right. Okay. So, Crown of Feathers tells the story of Veronica... Um, AKA Robin Hood or Robin 2. I don't know which one you. Robin need. Squared. Okay, Robin Squared. Um, and Robin Squared, um, Veronica, wants to be a Phoenix Rider. However, hmm. when she goes to join the clan, they're only accepting boys. So she has to disguise herself as a boy to join the clan. Mm. We also have. So it's like. Um, Milan. Oh, okay. What were you going to say? The one I always get confused with, Milan. Pocahontas? Yes. Yes. Okay, so this one in the middle, can you point to the girl in the middle? Sorry, I'm going to bring it closer. So that one is Veronica, and then to, yep, that's Tristan. We also have his point of view. He is the son of the commander, and then... And so Zuko. Yeah, sure. Um, and then we have a boy named Sev, who is part of the enemy army, and he does not want to be because he is actually an animage, so he is on the same side as Veronica and Tristan. Um, Val is Veronica's sister, and they have a heated 
argument in the very beginning because Val does something terrible to Veronica, and that is why Veronica leaves to join the clan. Hmm. Yeah. This is really good. Number eight, which is Scythe, and it's probably my favorite read of 2020 thus far. And this is by Neil Schusterman, so I'm going to let you take over here. So we have the Grim Reaper with a scythe. Okay. Uh, there's two children also involved in this book. Um, one's name oh. is um, Millie, and the other one's um, Banny. Um, Bandy. So th they find the Grim Reaper, and then they. Oh, are he's you gonna... thinking of Billy and Mandy? No, no, <laughs> oh. not at all. No. Um, so they befriend him, you know, because at first he has to go kill them. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I'll be your friend, and then ends up killing them. Uh, so, <laughs> so they get nixed right from the get-go. And then, so the Grim Reaper um, comes out uh, to this really cool music whenever he makes his entrance. Uh, he also does this thing where he rolls his eyes in the back of his head, too, to intimidate his... Um, Opponents. Yeah. You um, should try that in wrestling. There's already a character that oh. does that. <laughs> Uh, he picks people up and drops them on their head okay. uh, to kill them, and then takes a scythe and just slashes their eyeballs out, and uh, so, um, the story there. goes around and tells people that he sees no evil, and um, yeah, he's he's a lone wolf. All right, so <laughs> Millie and Bandy, hundred percent. So this tells the story of a world in which death has been eradicated. So um, the only way to die is by sites who are in charge of keeping the population under control. It's completely random, but when you're chosen, you have to die. So oh, whoa. <laughs> um, the site that we're following takes in two apprentice sites and they have to fight to the death to figure out who will be the next site. Hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Interesting. It's like, it had Hunger Games feels, but not at the same time. But it was like a Hunger Games level of good. Oh, uh, uh, Here we Potter. have Harry Potter and oh, the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. So. So what part of the series is this? It's book one. Oh, this is the uh, episode one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... So I'm just going to try and recap what I think I know. Just so you know, Anthony doesn't know anything about Harry Potter. He's never read or seen I've watched movies. glimpses of the first one. Ah, okay. But they, this was six years ago. Okay. So. Continue. Um, Harrison, uh, Potter, uh, parents, uh, they die. Okay. Then he gets kidnapped and taken to Hogwarts or he goes there by will it's one or the other oh. uh, but he gets on the magical train I think he gets on the magical train by by uh, will not force so yeah he gets on the train and then the train takes him to uh, another dimension of magic and then um, he meets um, her Herman her 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 Hermione and um, Ron? Yes. Ronald. Um, talk about a normal name and a not normal name. So then they become his friends in class, and then he has to... You see his, like, ups and downs of going to class and learning how to, like, make potions. But There's really, ups and going to class? I don't know, but he's really bad at it. And then I think he gets bullied at one point by some, some okay. bully kids. And um, uh, we, we learn who the villain is, um, Voldemort. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a character named Dumbledore that's in here that probably has some significance. And then there's the principal who probably has a talk or a chat with Harry about, you know, you're the main character and you got to win the day. And he's like, oh, I don't know if I want to be the main character, but then, you know. Who's the principal? Um, Wheeler. Okay, Principal Wheeler. Did you pull that from Stranger Things? Who, Wheeler? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. I know there was a Wheeler in Stranger Things. Nancy Wheeler. Oh, I know. I forgot yeah. about her. She sucked. Her and Jonathan. Yeah. Well, it's also Mike. It's her little brother, Mike Wheeler. Oh, we never hear about his last name. He might as well not be associated with that family. 
They don't even care about him. They really don't. Okay. Those so, I mean, you, you pretty much got it. It's about Harry's first year at wizarding school. Mm. Um, Dumbledore is the principal. Mm. Um, he's the headmaster. Okay. That's what he's gotcha. called. Yeah. That makes sense. But everything else? Yeah. And Hermione. Okay. Hermione. Hum, Hern. But they don't fight Voldemort in this one, though. They, like, save yeah, they that. Do. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought they saved it for, like, episode four. Hmm. You actually got this one for me. Yep. Um, this is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, and I'm actually in the play that he just saw last mm -hmm. night. So I don't say this is even fair. I already know what happens. And you saw the movie with me, so I just want to hear your version of it. Like, So you want me to make something up? No, I just want to know like what you thought it was. It's not even going off the cover. It's not even fair. Um... You don't have to make up fake stuff. I just want to know what you thought the story was. Oh, so there's four little women, mm -hmm. and they have a mom and a dad who's in the war, and uh, two of them, two two of the little women kind of go back and forth. They don't really like each other, and then there's the one older littler woman. You would think that she would be like the big sis of the group, but like, isn't? It's actually Joe who fights with Amy. And then there's uh, the one that nobody cares about, Beth, who just ends up dying. Um, they all they all kind of just move on from that. It just kind of happens. So then they meet the neighbors. You know, you, you you think you would meet your neighbors when you go to your house, but I guess you don't. In 1886 or whatever this happened, 1835. So you don't meet your neighbors. So then they finally met them, and then like end up becoming friends with the kid neighbor, and then. Um, uh, do kid stuff, and then they go to the beach, and then they, you know, trap the one sister um, on on an icy river and almost cause her to die of frostbite. Um, and then they all grow up and go on to do their lively things, except the one who died. Um, and then the one marries Lori, and then the other one marries the, the poor guy who was the butler, or not, no, the tutor of, of the kid. Uh, in this weird, strange, interconnected family relationship. And somehow the grandpa's still there. Um, and then and then their aunt dies and gives all her money to Joe, and then Joe ends up opening up um, a place to write books and give her poor friends a job and makes them a lot of money, and then everyone lives happily ever after, except the one that died. Okay. Yeah. Close enough. And then there's a German guy who shows up, but he doesn't really show up because they don't want him to show up. But then they told her he needs to show up, so he showed up. All right. Yeah. I'd, I'd give you like a three out of ten on the books. I heard ten out of ten. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll check in with you in my next one. Bye.